only bikes are available to them. These are the demo ride bikes. These are the bikes anybody can come and ride. Indian Chief Classic in white. There is the black in the room, which I kind of like actually. Same as the Scout, essentially. Same Scout trim. Paint there, black and white. It's like a little darker red. But I love those giant print of and here's the exact same one, but instead of all the chrome, it's all blacked out. Same with the model, same design. So that's something to compare if you want to. But again, this is something you can just hop on and ride. Sign up, hop on and ride it. That's the next. Okay, taking this uh, Indian Scout out for a test drive. I tell you, it's weird. Although I kind of already like it more than the uh, Harley I remember from yesterday. I mean, last year. Last year. Uh, a similar sitting position. And I like that the uh, tank, I can feel it between my legs. I can squeeze it between my knees. On the Harley, the air cleaner is right here on the right side, which is super annoying. It's kind of warm. Pretty. It's really pretty. <laughs> if that's any consolation. Phew. That clutch was getting to me there. Feathering it out. You know, I'm driving. I'm riding so much more tentatively because it's not my machine, and I'm not familiar with the controls. But I like the overall feel of it. I like the big tank, or I presume it's a big tank. I don't know. Could be mostly not tank. Who knows? Mirrors seem pretty good so far. Sitting still, they're great. <laughs> it feels like it's burning up. It's super hot. And it's, uh, I can smell like burning, you know, chrome or something. Sort of feel to it. lot to focus on when you're on a, an unfamiliar bike. I'm not crazy about that. <laughs> you can't uh, stand up over bumps though, that's for sure. Although the seat took it pretty well. So it's not it's not uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to be hammered a lot of bumps, but it's not, not terrible, right? The suspension, I guess, everything's working correctly. I'm going to hang back from this guy a bit. He's, he's uh, assessing the whole thing like I am. That's all good. Apparently we're turning to the right here. Yeah, I saw that and stood up a little bit, but you got to pull yourself up with your handlebar, which is not great because now you're yanking on the steering control. 
you might not want to do that, you know. Uh, overall, I think I can say I like the bike, just to start with. I definitely like it more than I remember liking the Harley Davidson I tried last year, which was a tiny little 883, I think it was. A lot of what I don't like about this bike, I can feel, is some stuff that I'm just not used to. You know, I'm not crazy about the foot controls. I don't like, I can't stand up for a bump. But those are things you eventually get used to, you know. I'm not used to the handlebars being exactly here. It's kind of familiar, but not exactly like mine. But that's just used to stuff. So that's not a big deal. Uh, I can put my feet down on the ground. I'm about 5'11", 6 feet, the boots, whatever. Like I said, I like that I can control my body weight with the knees on the tank. I find that a, a very useful. Like train tracks and shit. I kind of lean forward, that helps a little bit. Just lighten so we get, get a little lighter in the saddle. I don't have to stand up. So this is just engine braking here. Just decelerating by the by the engine running against them. Uh, had the brake at the last second there, but you can see how I was slowing the bike down, even going downhill. It's all good. I couldn't figure out how to turn the fucking thing on. <laughs> the key is down here by my lower, uh, by my left knee. Here, and I couldn't see it with all the chrome. I didn't know where to look. I'm so used to just pushing my button here, and then I ever, it never occurred to me. Um, you know, I have, a, I have a key here of mine, so I never, oh, when someone moved the keyhole, you know. Yeah, I'm not used to the controls. I keep thinking it's not there, and it is there. Or I'm, I'm not stepping on it. I am stepping on it. I'm just not used to it, that's all. That's not the bike's fault at all. It's me. Here we go. Make your turn, brother. Turbo's pulled out in front of me. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get over there now. I'm already in one. Stop stepping on it. Didn't have to put my foot down. Getting the hang of this. But it is. It is new. It's definitely hot. There's so much heat coming off of this. I mean, the cylinder's right here next to your leg. It's actually right next to and underneath your thigh when you have your feet here. Near your knee, actually, more. It's just got waves of heat coming up, rolling up there, and then it rolls up into your chest and face. It goes, like, up underneath the, the um, helmet. It's, like, all up here is this heat coming up. I can feel it. Just like an oven right around his little explosion powered death machine. But overall I think it is actually a nice bike if you get used to it. Yeah, I can really feel it. Right now with my knees down on the ground I feel a lot of heat against my, my knee, especially my left, but it might just be the wind blowing it that way, I don't know. But it's just like 
blazing hot air. So right now it's not that bad because it's kind of very in autumn. It's kind of a cooler day. So it almost feels okay. But if this is any time type of summer deal, oh man, be roasting. So this is a very basic ride. You know, I don't get to maneuver it. I don't get to try to make a figure eight. They don't want you to do all that. They just want you to go in general, almost straight lines. It's very low, not very challenging ride at all, of course, just to get your feel for the bike. But it reminds me of what I don't like about the V-Twin. You know, it's right in your lap. The heat's right in your lap. Hope you can hear these. Ow, fuck, that's hot. See? And the pipe is like right next to your body. My leg just touched the fucking exhaust pipe. And it feels like it burned right through the jeans, but I didn't. It's just so hot. And that's actually kind of dangerous, because I can see if you actually were wearing proper gear, and you, you know, got your leg against it, you won't really notice it. And meanwhile, the outside of that is burning until it finally soaks through all the protective layers. And then you realize it, and by then you got a hole in your pants. my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious.